What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to chroma key on iMovie 10.0 on your Mac. Here we go. For this tutorial, you will need to download the newest version of iMovie, iMovie 10.0, from the Mac App Store. You will need Mac OS X Mavericks, which is a free operating system that you can also get from the Mac App Store iMovie 10.0 is also a free to download application after installing Mavericks. Moving on now to my setup, here it is. I am using a rather large green screen, two fluorescent lights with umbrella shades, and a Canon EOS 60D with an 18-135mm lens. To do a shot like this, you do not need expensive equipment like I have. Just use whatever camera you have, mount it on a steady surface, and shoot on either a blue or green background. Here is the shot I will be working off of. Now, on with the tutorial. So upon the first glance at iMovie 14, the minute you open it, as you can see, it's pretty minimal. There isn't really a lot of stuff to go to and it's kind of confusing. So it's really not that confusing. So make sure you head to All Projects, then click Create Movie. Make sure you have no themes selected, then click Create. We're just going to call this G Screen. And for event, I'm going to select this event, which is where all my footage is, and I will click OK. So down here is our timeline, and up here is our event library. This clip right here is my green screen footage, and this clip right here, well, not necessarily a clip, this picture will be replacing the green seen in this picture. So the first clip you want to drag down to your timeline is this one. And then the next clip you want to drag down to your timeline is your green screen footage. Now the next thing you want to do is check the time frame of your green screen clip. If you scroll over your clip, it says, it says the time frame right here. So my time frame is 37.4 seconds. The time frame on my clouds right here is 4 seconds. This is a very, very easy fix. So click your clouds clip go to adjust, go to info, and your duration should be 37.4 seconds. So 37.4 seconds, then click enter. Alrighty, as you can see, your clouds clip is now as long as your stock footage, which is really awesome. Now let's click on our stock footage. First, let's just bring this to the front. Now let's click on our stock footage. Let's head to this tab right here, and under the drop down menu right here where it says cutaway, click green slash blue screen. As you can see, the clouds have replaced the green. However, that came at a cost. Um, the color right here is a little uneven. Do not worry, this is a very, this is also sort of an easy fix. Head to the color correction tab and just mess with these levels a little bit. I'm just gonna bring that down. Maybe increase the yellow a little bit. No, it's a little too much. And just mess with that, maybe bring that down, make it a little dark, something like that. Oh, but then that looks too, no, let's just bring that up, maybe bring that back. As you can see, there are many, many options you do have when making these adjustments. Now, another thing, click on your, well, first, first of all, head back here and click check. Now let's click on our cloud clip. Let's head to crop. Now what you want to do is, you want to make it so the clouds are moving. So, let's just bring the start down here, of course after clicking on the Ken Burns tab. Let's bring the start down to about that point and let's bring the end up to about, say, there. Alrighty, maybe we might have to make that a tad bit bigger. Right there. Let's bring that there. And it's still somewhat uneven, but I guess that'll work. Then let's click the check mark to apply it. And now when you play your clip, well first let's click the check mark here. Now when you play the clip, the clouds in the background should be moving as you can see. The clouds are moving and it does somewhat lag a little bit because this is in the editor. And finally, once it is time to export your project, go to the share tab right here and then click file. As you can see, I will save it as G screen. And the size of it will, of course, be, let's make it 720p. This video is about G-Screen, yes. And we are not going to click Add to Theater. We are going to click Next. 
And I assume it'll ask you for a file location. We are just going to save it to the documents and I'm going to click save. And I believe it is exporting. As you can see, this little icon right here, you can just look at the activity of it and it will just process. And yep, that is about it. So once this clip is done, you can you will now see what the final version looks like. Again, this is not supposed to be a professional sort of setup. This is iMovie we're talking about here. Anyways, here is the final clip. Once it is finally done, a little share successful tab will appear and QuickTime will open with your final clip. All right, everybody, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will answer it. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more gaming, tech tutorials, and reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. And if this video helped you out, hit that like button down below as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, signing off.